Okay, quick video about the third brake light on the E-Series or Econoline vans because they leak a lot. I think I've seen 11 out of 12 in the junkyard where there was water damage on the headliner because of leaks around this light. So to take this out, all you're doing is uh, take out one screw on each side here and then this guy with a little bit of force will pull off because there's a gasket here it's kind of sticky um, that's sealed against this surface that's usually what your problem is and you've got water running off of your roof down into your third brake light there's the interior rear dome light and this is where you get water come in here um, so mine actually had been leaking for quite a while and actually got wet enough inside that these bulbs shorted uh, both of them blew and I actually melted one of the plastic connectors I'll show you that down here just like that so I popped this little pigtail out I went to the junkyard and looked at a bunch of old econo lines they've all got essentially the same pigtail here some of them have wires that split off of the pigtail to feed this light in the newer econo lines though they have their own pigtail for this light and all you got to do is just clip those wires off you can see I did that right here because we don't need them for anything and then you can just plug the pigtail in there's a quick disconnect right here to disconnect this one all you've got to do is pull this little flap up to release it off that little triangle right there and as soon as you pull this flap up this will pull right out uh, I got new bulbs the bulbs are 912s to make that easy for anyone looking them up I think these were maybe six bucks or something at O'Reilly's then to reseal it we've got two options one is to peel off the existing gasket and put something like this on this is double-sided foam tape. This can become the new gasket. Or use something like this. This is black super weather strip adhesive. Got this at O'Reilly's as well for, uh, it was like three bucks or something for a small tube. And this is safe to put on paint. Uh, I've heard silicone sometimes can eat away at your paint and cause rust later. So this is a great sealant to use. I'm gonna attempt to just use this tube on the existing gasket. I cleaned up the surfaces really well. I washed this gasket. Uh, I don't want to have to just go through the problem of peeling all this off. Um, I did wash this surface well. So I'm going to try the tube and see if that will give me a good seal between this painted surface and the underside of this kind of soft foam that's there. Okay, we just used our weather strip adhesive and did a ring around the opening. These are blind holes, so water, if it gets down in there around your screws, it can't come out on the bottom. So we're gonna pop the bulbs, twist them into their little spot here, flip the light back on. This stuff smells great, I love it. And then the bulbs, those you put them in and then just twist to lock them into place. Okay, we got the bulbs snapped back into place. We're gonna set this guy back in and get the screws in. I can't do this one-handed well, so stay tuned. Okay, we just got it screwed back in place. You can see the black weather strip adhesive kind of oozing out right there all the way around. So we'll get that uh, to set up, and then next rainfall, we'll test it out and make sure we're not getting water down inside the rear of the van anymore. Update, we had an unusually wet spring this year, lots of rain. I recorded that repair in mid-March and it's now July, so it's been almost four months. Not a drip or sign of any water coming in at all. Drier than a mummy's pocket. Drier than a Popeye's biscuit. Drier than a Mormon wedding. Drier than a Nature Valley granola bar. Drier than a $2 steak. Drier than a Christmas tree in March.